Hey everyone and welcome to another art video. As you could have guessed, I went on another urban sketching adventure, um, this time in Frankfurt. I've seen a beautiful Chinese garden online, so I wanted to sketch some of the sceneries and architecture there. The name of the garden can be translated to the Garden of Divine Peace, which sounds beautiful on its own, but when we entered there were so many different statues, flowers, plants and hidden details, I was so blown away. And as I spotted the first pavilion, I already knew that this would be my first sketch I wanted to make, but I wanted to go up there and observe some of the hidden details before drawing. As always, I am looking for comfortable places to sit down, since this is a park. <laughs> There were benches like everywhere. I started a new urban sketchbook since I found the last one a bit huge to carry it the whole summer around and I didn't start on the first page. I like filling my sketchbooks randomly, starting on different pages each time until it's full. Um, because otherwise I'm a bit terrified of ruining the first page. I'm starting with my favorite fine liners. This time I'm using brown ones and I'm always starting with the basic outline shapes and guiding lines without filling the picture too much in. In this step I'm thinking of the composition and how I want to divide the whole page. What should be in the background or foreground and how much of the scenery I really want to be in there. At this stage, I don't get too much into the details. Even when drawing plants or flowers, I try to throw some random shapes in and sketch quite quickly so they get more dynamic and more natural. Then I go in with a brush pen of the same color and fill everything in that should be darker, like shadows, but also some objects I want to separate from the background. I also don't think too much about how accurate the lines look. As you can see, there is now this huge difference between the thick brush pen and the thin fine liner, which I wanted to fix. I tried to even that out by going over some shapes with the fine liner again and also fill in some more details like textures or more leaves or something like that. The last step would be to color this image. I'm using watercolors and I'm trying to think of a color scheme that this image should have. I don't like filling it with too many colors in. I usually pick two to three um, that I think would enhance the vibe of the picture rather than filling it completely in. It doesn't really matter to me if these colors are even in the scenery itself, like I'm using a red color for the roof and a purple or yellowish green for the nature, but all in all I'm going for a dreamy kind of look. This is the finished result, it went so much faster with a smaller sketchbook. Um, if you're curious what brands and supplies I'm using, I noted everything down in the description, so you can look that up if you're interested. Then we went on searching for our next sketching spot. The next one is this tiny waterfall with a tree and the path nearby. It just gives me this calm atmosphere around and the whole process is mainly the same as on the other picture. I'm using a bit darker brush pens and also a different color palette.
When I was finished, I first thought that I was done for today, but there were so many little birdies in the park wandering around and I, I just couldn't resist. I wanted to sketch um, the little bird family. It wasn't the most comfortable position to sketch in, but I just wanted to throw the basic shapes in and finish the details and colors on the bench where I could sit comfortably. Alright, these were my three finished sketches that I made that day. Um, I like them, I think I'm more comfortable drawing in a smaller sketchbook. And I'm so excited to fill it more in on my next urban sketching adventure. Maybe you guys want to stick around, so um, until next time, bye!